<laughs> ah, a creep show. I, I see you're you're pulling a prison made Luke. You're releasing an early hit piece on on someone, something, because you heard ramblings that it's gonna come out, you know, that something's being worked on, or maybe there's there's something out there that might break your narrative, right? It just sounds very familiar to what Luke did. Uh, now, the, the rumor mill is that you're either doing it on the individual that's making the documentary on uh, Peaches, or somebody else that released a document that makes Peaches look in a positive light so to speak <laughs> so you're releasing an early video for this situation maybe there's some insider information that i don't know maybe uh maybe peaches cost somebody the the self delete i mean look if that was the case i would understand right but uh i, I don't think that's the case I, I really don't i think this is what individuals call a stretch. What I see, it's you're trying to cancel Peaches for not really very good reasons. I've been around the Twitters and I've seen individuals come at Peaches over the past few weeks. Actually, over the past few days. It feels like weeks because of how redundant and dumb the arguments really are. It, it kind of takes me out of my, my zone and puts me in this bizarre twilight realm where I'm like, is this really what we're living in right now? This is really 2021? Okay, so these are the arguments against Peaches, and they just, they're not really holding up. And in, in terms of the internet court, well, you do have the emotional bait, and that's basically what I've seen a lot of, right? The arguments on Peaches on Twitter have been a lot of emotional bait, and going off of the lefty compass, which, as we know, can be quite extreme for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> And I think this creep show art person is no exception. And we haven't even touched on the fact that she is associated with Luke. And that's a red flag in itself because as you know, Luke is the master of propaganda. He's petty enough to go after a kid because he was scared of being exposed by said kid. And he'll constantly take things out of context to frame you in the worst possible light or misrepresent you. It's Luke for you. And people continue to support him because, well, one, he's hardcore lefty. Like, he tried to get Jar cancelled by calling him a racist by taking, like, what, two clips out of context for his own benefit. And I love the way Luke framed the narrative that Jar is doing this multiple times when it was literally two instances or so. That's not multiple times that I understand the narrative you're trying to paint. The point that I'm trying to get at before I go into a rant about Luke again is that creep show art <laughs> might that she'll implement the same tactics that Luke does and misrepresent people, take things out of contact. You can see her affiliations uh, right off the bat really speak for themselves. You know, we got Luke and we got the whole arguments that she's throwing out, some of which I think where she's calling people sexist, right? <laughs> Uh, or implying that some people are sexist. Uh, she probably goes with the racist argument as well. Uh, a lot of these arguments are very morality based and subjective and they just don't hold up. The legal system would laugh at Creepshow Art's face and she's lucky that there's so many gullible people, so many emotionally charged people on the internet, especially in 2021, that will take her bait and, and get behind her and whatever narrative she wants to spin. Once again, I'm going to extend the offer to her that I extended to Luke that I know she won't take, uh, you know, because Luke didn't take it and he's, you know, the man, uh-oh, call me sexist. So we'll just have to wait and see what this masterpiece of a freaking video is. I've seen Creepshow do like 20 to 30 minute videos and they're quite torturous. Try to watch one of her videos and it was just off the bat, petty mean girls drama. I mean, nice edits, I would expect so from a channel your size, I, I guess. There was one with a 420 joke, which that was pretty cute, I guess. I mean, oh, uh, you know, <laughs> oh, uh, you know, <laughs> 420 is my defining characteristic. Oh, okay. Yeah, alright, I get it, you're trying to do the, the relatable thing. Uh, oh boy. Great, cool. I, I, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know guys, what do you guys think of this, uh, creep show art person? Let me know in the comments down below. Give me the 411, give me the scoop, I, I'd really like to know. Uh, mostly the TLDR of things. You made this video, what is your purpose? Do you think that I will believe that you, uh, you are 
Make do you want to explain the mystery between them? Hell no, I don't believe that. The sky nice to say the stars.